Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the different fundamental trigonometric identities using this figure, then for sine on this area, so we have sine equals cosine over this cotangent. Then another for sine on this area, so that's tangent over the second, and also for sine on this area, that's 1 over cosecant, and the last one for sine, so the product of these two functions, so we have cosine times tangent, so these are the different identities for sine. Then, if you want to find the different identities for cotangent, so cotangent to this area, so we have this cosine over sine, and also cotangent to this area, it's cosecant over second, then another for cotangent. That's 1 over tangent. And the last one for cotangent, so the product of these two functions, it's cosine times cosecant. So these are the different identities for cotangent. Then for the identities for second, so we have second to this area, it's tangent over sine, then another one for second to this area, it's cosecant over cotangent, and also for second, that's 1 over cosine, then the last one for second, so the product of these two functions, that's tangent times cosecant. So this is how to find the different fundamental trigonometric identities using this figure. And also for the identities for the square of a function. So in this case, just focus on this triangle. This one is plus, 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 and this one is equals so again, focus on this triangle. So we have now sine squared plus cosine squared. That's equal to 1. Then to this triangle, it's tangent squared plus 1 equals second squared. Then for this triangle, so we have 1 plus cotangent squared equals cosecant squared. So these are the different identities for the square of a function. So from this formula, if we want to find the identities for cosine squared, so that's equal to 1 transpose the sine squared so that becomes negative sine squared then for this function so if we want to find the identities for tangent squared so that's equal to second squared transpose this positive one so that becomes minus one then for this function so we want to find the identity for cos tangent squared. So we have now cosecant squared. So transpose this positive 1. That becomes negative 1. So this is how to derive the other formula for this square of E function.